Let's give God a big hand praise. We're so grateful this morning for Pastor Turner and her family being with us this morning. Thank you, Elder Hardy. Thank you so much for you being here this morning. We light these candles during this time, the season of Advent, as we honor the love of hope, the love of peace, which is our focus today. And then also we will be each Sunday until Christmas Sunday morning, which for us this year will be the third Sunday, uh, which is December the 20th. We're so grateful. Aren't you glad to be in God's house today? If you're glad, just give God, just give God a praise. I mean that. I mentioned to Pastor Turner when she was here the last time that I was wondering if she would come back again. So I'm really glad she said <laughs> she said she would. We're really grateful. You all did a beautiful job this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I want to turn your attention for uh, the moments that are mine with uh, Psalm 150. Psalm 150, the very last psalm in the book of Psalm. We're going to look at, actually, I'm going to go ahead. I think we've got time for me to start from the first verse. You've got the third to the sixth verse in your um, program on page three. I'm reading from the NIV uh, today, and it says, Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise him in the mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and the lyra. Praise him with the timbrel and dancing. Praise him with the strings and pipe. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. I like the way the King James says, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Let's give God a big hand of praise. Oh, Lord, as we come, we thank you for this hallowed spot. We are so grateful for the power of your spirit, which dominates the atmosphere. We pray, dear God, to thank you for this time together. Pray your blessings upon this wonderful opportunity for us to praise you. And we're grateful as everything that has gone on up to this point has reminded us that we are children of the King. We are so grateful to you. In your son Jesus' name, we pray as we share this word, dear God, as we go forth in a wonderful way, we pray that all that we do is to your glory. In your son Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, amen and amen to the hearers, uh, to the word of God, and to the messenger. You may be seated. God bless you early here because I don't want to run out of time. I want to let you know, particularly those who are listening today, that on next Sunday at 7 o'clock in the evening, we will make sure to have the details for you on next Sunday. But next Sunday, the 13th in the evening, our church will be joined together again for a wonderful celebration of the Christmas season with a few other churches. Uh, with the Mormon Church in Beaverton, with the Tongan Church in Tigard. And this time, we're going to be represented by Sister Julianne Johnson Weiss. We'll be singing a song. Amen. Let's give God a praise. And also, one of our newer members, Sister Alexis Howard. Howler, you want to raise your hand so we know she'll be singing a solo as well as a part of that. And so we will have the details on next Sunday, but it will be a virtual concert. And we are looking forward to that. We are grateful to God for that. Lord, have mercy, y'all. There is a word from the Lord. Does somebody know that there is? Jeremiah said it, and I just know that there is a word from the Lord today. As I think about what we see around us, we are living in perilous times. How many of you know we're living in perilous times? These are very difficult times. These are moments, in fact, where we are not only dealing with one pandemic, often we we pay attention to this one pandemic. This health issue is a pandemic when it comes 
to the uh, coronavirus. And let me be clear to remind you that this is not a hoax, it's real. When 270,000 people lose their life, something's real about that. Amen, somebody. Something's real about that. And over a million and millions of others have contracted the virus. So we want to know, we, we certainly see that. We also see uh, a pandemic of a crisis of confidence. I'm, I'm going to say that. We have a crisis of confidence when it comes to our government, when it comes to our elected leaders and all of this stuff. But I come to tell you that I'm so glad that we didn't elect God. God elected us. Oh, Lord Jesus, I just want to say that right from the start. And I am so glad that we can't elect or unelect God. I came to tell you that he is God and he's God all by himself. And no matter what happens, he's still going to be God. And he can't be turned out of office. And nobody can go and get a petition to try to get somebody else to turn him out of office. God is still God. Do I have a witness this morning? So I come with all the things that we see going on around us. I need to give somebody some good news right from the beginning. Our God cannot be impeached. Our God cannot be turned out. Our God cannot be taken off the throne. Our God cannot be messed with. Our God is our God. He is eternally our God. Oh, yeah. And by the way, I want you to know, that you don't have to worry about whether he wins this thing or not. I came by to tell somebody, our God has already won this victory. I need somebody to know that he's already won this victory. How do you know, preacher? 2,000 years ago, in a place called Calvary, he won the victory, not only on the cross, but the Bible tells me that he got up on the third day, and on the third day, he had all power in his hands. I need somebody to know right from the start that our God is able, Pastor Allen, our God is able, Pastor Turner, our God is able, Elder Hardy, our God is able to everybody who is here today. The Bible reminds us, as Elder Lewis did in the scripture reading this morning, that we're going to have stuff happen in life. And by the way, I'm here to tell you, I don't care what color you are. I don't care how much money you've got. You're going to deal with some stuff. Do I have a witness here? You're going to deal with some stuff. It doesn't matter how great you think things are. You live in a fallen world, and that means that in this fallen world, tough times are going to come. But the one thing, and this is why I'm so glad that I'm a child of the king, and I pray that you're glad about the same thing, is that no matter what happens, I came to tell you, just like we heard just now, nothing's going to cause me to lose my praise. I'm going to keep on praising. Nonetheless, I'm going to keep on walking and talking. Nonetheless, the text for this morning reminds us of divine praise divine praise. I want to I want I, w- I want to do it this way. I got to do this quick, y'all. I got to do this quick because I want this to happen before we get off the air. Y'all with me this morning? Don't don't, don't y'all just sit there on me. I got to I got to do this number, right? First of all, when I look at the text, I I'm sorry, I look at the theme. The theme reminds me of the fact of divine praise, which means that The divine is God himself. I need somebody to know that. I I don't want you to think the divine is you or me. The divine is God himself. Secondly, I want to be clear that not only is God the divine, God is the enabler. Oh, Lord Jesus, I like this. I really do. I like this. In other words, God enables praise. I, I came to tell you that when, I, and by the way, I know that enabler has a, a different meaning when we talk about it from person to person, but I came to tell you that Isaiah told us a long time ago that his knowledge is higher than our knowledge, that what he knows and what he does is greater than we are. I call him the divine enabler because, you see, there are times when I can't get up in the morning. There are times when my spirit is so down low that I don't think I'm going to make it, but I promise you, when I think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, it causes me to
to get up out of my seat. Even though I wouldn't be able to do it on my own, I can do it because he is divine. I came to tell you. Not only is he divine, I came to tell you there are a whole lot of other ways that we can describe him. But today's context, we're talking about divine praise. What I said is that when you look all around you, there's all kind of reasons to get down. There are all kind of reasons to be upset. There are all kind of reasons to wonder if we're going to get out of this. All kind of reasons to wonder if things are going to get better, whether it's the vaccine or not. Can I park for just a minute? Can I park? I need to park for just a minute. I need somebody to know that I'm so grateful that I got a vaccine back in 1970, I think it was. I was 11 years old. They gave me a vaccine called baptism. And when they baptized me, they gave me the Holy Ghost. And, and I came by to tell you that the best vaccine that you can ever get is a vaccine of the Holy Spirit. I'm not worried about a thing. I'm not worried about a thing because he told us, do not worry, do not fret. Uh, how many of you believe in who God is? How many of you believe who God is? I came to tell you that he can keep you safe from anything. He can keep you safe from anything. It's going to be all right. How many of you know it's going to be all right? Let me get out of my parking space now and go back and do my business here. The Bible says, and I love the way that it says this, I want to remind you that when you look back to the Psalms of Ascent, the last one is Psalm 134. From 135 to 150, there's praise in every one of those Psalms that by the time you get to Psalm 150, He's already talked about praise. Look at 148. Look at 149. But there's a crescendo when he gets to Psalm 150. He said, I need to tell you something. I know you got stuff you're worried about. I know you've got stuff that you don't think are going to work out all right. He said, but I got news for you. He said, do me a favor. First of all, praise the Lord. First of all, praise the Lord. And secondly, Praise him in his sanctuary. Praise him in his sanctuary. Right there in the text, I came to tell you that he said, praise him in the sanctuary. Somebody said, how does it sound in the sanctuary when people start praising God? I came to tell you, somebody's going to clang some cymbals. Somebody's going to sing a song. Somebody's going to clap. Somebody's going to run. Somebody's going to dance. Somebody's going to holler. But I came to tell you, we're going to praise him. 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 The Bible says... Praise him in the sanctuary. I came to tell you that that's the reason why uh, when we show up in this place, uh, we shouldn't show up uh, depending on somebody else uh, to make us praise. Uh, you ought to walk in here with a little praise going on uh, before you get here. If you look at it right, uh, you walk in, you already are holding a spiritual candle. Our job is to light that candle for you and help you uh, to be able to shine your light uh, anyhow, even brighter. I'm going to preach in a minute. Uh, will y'all stay with me for right now? I need you to know that there's a cynical person, whether they're in here or they're out in the radio land, who said, yeah, but I'm not going to the sanctuary. I don't have a sanctuary. I'm so glad you said that uh, because I know one thing is for sure. When I was growing up, uh, we didn't have a whole lot of stuff. Uh, do I have a witness here? We couldn't afford the best toys. 
As a matter of fact, uh, we had to wear the same things for Halloween almost every year because we didn't have the money for a new Halloween costume. I know somebody knows what I'm talking about. We got holes in our shoes. Uh, we couldn't go get new shoes. Uh, they put cardboard in the bottom of our shoes, uh, and we kept on walking. I know I've got somebody here. I couldn't have all the toys that I wanted to have, uh, but somehow uh, we found things uh, to start making toys out of. Do I have a witness here? Somebody had an old broomstick, and we would take the broom, and we would hop on the broomstick because we knew that we didn't have anything else, but we had the broomstick, which became our horse. Do I have a witness here this morning? I came to tell you, I didn't have drums, but we had some old Crisco cans. And when you get rid of the Crisco and you start beating on the bottom of an empty Crisco can, all of a sudden, it sounds better than a drum. Do I have a witness here this morning? And then when it came to singing, we didn't have all the instruments, but we had some people who knew how to keep time and they knew how to make those funny noises with their mouth. I was never able to do it. I couldn't do that and I couldn't whistle, but all I knew is we made music. Do I have a witness here this morning? And so when you look at it, I want the cynic to know, you may not be in this sanctuary, but as I know who God is, wherever you are is the sanctuary. Do I have a witness here? Wherever you are is the sanctuary. And I would say, I want you to make wherever you are a sanctuary. So if you need to hum, go on and hum and, and hum on to God. If you need to take the Crisco can, beat on it and give God a praise. I came to tell you this morning, we need to praise him. 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 Oh, I know it's tough. I know it's hard. I know, folks, you'll listen to other folks, and they'll get you down. That if, you were got, if you got up and you felt pretty good, all you need to do is talk to some folk. Stop talking to them and listen to what God's trying to say to you because he's trying to get through. He says, praise him. By the way, check out the text. The text didn't say praise him so that you praise enough when it comes to the timbrel, when it comes to the trumpet that you can play in Carnegie Hall. Whatever God gave you, use your talent to praise the Lord. Use your talent to let somebody know who the king is and let him know divinely in the midst of my pain, in the midst of my struggle, I'm going to keep on praising no matter what. I don't care what the doctor says. I don't care what my neighbor says. I'm going to praise him. That was the main point of Psalm 150. No matter what, praise him. Got bill collectors calling. Praise him. Got Uncle Arthur knocking at your door. Praise him. Somebody doesn't know who Uncle Arthur is. Uncle Arthur's rest of his name, his last name is Ritus. And the first name is Arthur. Do I have a witness here this morning? When you don't feel like it and know that high is your problem. And somebody says, hi, I don't understand, preacher. Well, high's got two other names called blood pressure. So when high blood pressure is messing with you, go on and praise his name anyhow. When diabetes is bothering you, go on and praise his name anyhow. I don't know about you, but every time I see the commercials for the kids at St. Jude Hospital, don't have an arm, don't have a leg, but they're still praising God. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? One of them doesn't have arms, doesn't have legs, but is painting with their mouth. I don't think you heard me. They are painting with what they've got left. 
I came to tell you that God is a good God. God is a great God. The psalmist is telling us, despite what's going on in the world, God will enable you. What do you mean, preacher? He'll give you the power. He'll give you the hope. He'll give you the faith. He'll give you the joy to keep on going anyhow. I want to preach right now for just a couple more seconds. But before I do, I need somebody to get up out of their seats and give God about 30 seconds of praise because he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. You were out of a job. He found one for you. If he hasn't found it yet, if you haven't found it yet, just keep on having faith in him. Do I have a witness here? Because some of us have been unemployed before and don't know where the next money is coming from. But I came to tell you that our God will not let you down. Our God will not abandon you. Our God will cause you to keep on praising anyhow. How many of you praise through your hurts? How many of you praise through your pain? How many of you praise through your bills that you couldn't pay? How many of you praise through the job that you didn't get? How many of you just kept on praising? And then one day, God gave you, God gave you, God gave you. That's why he says, let everything, y'all be seated, let everything that has breath, praise the Lord. I came to tell you that if the organ didn't know how to do it, all it needed was Elder Hardy to get up there and play. Because you see, the organ isn't playing by itself. Uh, it's playing because uh, there's something in his hands uh, that caused the organ uh, to make some music. My brother on the piano, the same thing. My brother on the drums, uh, the same thing. If Pastor Turner had laryngitis this morning, she couldn't sing the way she sang, uh, but she woke up clothed in her right mind, uh, and she got in here and was determined to praise. Uh, I know that she's got issues. Uh, I've got issues. Uh, you've got issues. Uh, but I came to tell you, praise him anyway. Let everything uh, that hath breath, uh, let it praise the Lord. The trees praise him when the wind comes. Do I have a witness here? I'm telling you, the grass praises him when the wind comes. But I came to tell you, I'm going to praise him, whether it's old-fashioned or not, whether there's a new thing or not. I came to tell you, I'm going to praise him. Do I have a witness here this morning? I'm going to praise him. And let me be clear, I don't care where I am. I don't care who's listening. I don't care whether I'm at the governor's mansion. I don't care if I'm at the White House. I don't care if I'm at City Hall. I'm going to praise God just the same. Do I have a witness here? I'm going to praise God just the same. I beg you today, let God empower you to praise him, to praise him, to praise him. Let's stand and give God some praise. They stand and give him some praise. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, come on.